it's Bima. Welcome back to Bima's Happy Place. Today we're checking out the LOL Surprise JK Neon QT doll. I have not opened any of these before. It is a mini fashion doll. Um, she comes with 15 surprises. She has real hair, fashions, tall shoes. Um, we have this little zipper here. And if we pull the zipper, it shows that she's actually tiny. She's a regular size doll. Um, she just looks like she's really tall. Um, there are four to collect in this collection. We've got Diva, MC Swag, Queen Bee, and Neon Cutie. Um, I actually have all four of these ready to be unboxed and we're just going to start with Neon QT. So on the side here we see her name and if we pull this we have, I can open it up, her placing, I can't see, I can't see, her placing here and her accessories. So, this is really cute. I really like this background. I like that little purse that's hanging up. And I like the mirror. That's kind of funky. Um, let me get her accessories and things out here. This kind of is giving me Golden Girl vibes with this coral wall. <laughs> um, I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay, so... All right, here are her fashion pieces. We've got some garment bags. We've got a shoe box and a hat box here. And then let's get our girl out. So to get our girl out, see the little question mark here. Not sure why they have a question mark because we know who it is because her name is all over the box. The only piece of tape I did not cut on the whole box and the most difficult piece. What in the world? Okay, so we're gonna open. I'm gonna try to open this. What in the world? Okay. Another piece of tape. <laughs> All right. We have an instruction booklet and we have our doll. So she is very neon, very, very neon. Um, she's super cute. I really like her mismatched um, tights there that are printed on. And she's got some things under her. So I'm gonna get everything out and then we'll open it up and see what all we have with Neon QT. All right, she is out of the packaging. So I love this neon orange hair. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, it's got some pink on the underside here. Um, but I love the orange. I love the little pigtails. I'm not sure about these bangs and they're really crunchy. Um, so I don't, I don't know. They're not, I don't know. Um, she's got like neon makeup. So she's got hot pink eyebrows that are like squiggly. Um, she's got some neon yellow eyeshadow. She's got some neon yellow underneath her eyes. And then she's got these beautiful aqua eyes and this hot pink lip. Like, she is adorable. Um, she's got this little yellow bodysuit thing on. I'm not a fan of it, but I'm sure it will make sense with the fashion once I get that unboxed. But let's take a look and see what's underneath it. If I can get it off, that is. Okay, okay, come off, come off. These do have color change instructions um, in ice cold water and hot water. We're not gonna do that. Um, so, Ooh, but you can kind of see what she does. So this is what's underneath here. This is super cute. Like I could just leave her like this. Um, I believe, yep, so the yellow is what it looks like, like normal. And then the hot pink that you can kind of see a little bit of, that's the color change. Um, so that's super cute. That's super cute. Okay, let's open her other stuff. She does come with a hairbrush and a stand that looks very much like the OMG stands. It's just tiny. Um, she has a small garment bag here. So this, unfortunately, does not look like, oh wait, hold on. I was about to say, it doesn't look like there's a way to save it, but there is an opening. You just couldn't see it for the pattern, or I couldn't see it for the pattern. Let's see if we can get this out without ripping our bag all to pieces. Oh, 
Okay, so in the first garment bag was a little hanger and a little top. Okay, in the second garment bag is this little, I think it's a high-low skirt that's like netting and another little hanger. Okay, and then we have a bag. This is unbelievable. And we have her bottle, which is a strange thing to have in a bag that makes me believe there's gonna be hair accessories. And lastly, we have our hat box and our shoe box. So these are alternating colors, so hot uh, pink and neon yellow. Uh, we'll do the shoes first, so that it says size three and a half. We see a picture of the shoe. And these shoes are super tall. Oh, wow. Those are really cool. So they are super tall platforms. They're like white with some yellow stars around the sole there. And then we've got these extra yellow soles. And you can see inside of them, they've got like some pink glitter. Um, they have alternating color socks at the top. We've got one that has a teal sock, one that has a pink sock. So those are really cool. And then in the hat box, where all of our little accessories are, we have a headband with some kitty cat ears that are black and white. We have a little backpack that is teal and black with hot pink wings. It's got little elastics to put it on the doll. We have a teeny tiny cuff bracelet that is white with pink studs. And we have some hot pink and white heart sunglasses. All right, I'm gonna get her dressed and we'll take a look at the final product. And here is the final product. So this is, she's very much a hodgepodge of, of colors and stuff. <laughs> she's very neon. Um, I, I kind of like the concept, but like I feel like the fashion is a little bit ill-fitting. And it may just be because these dolls normally have like the little plastic outfits that kind of mold to their body. Um, and she's actually got some real fabric, so that may be why it seems a little weird to me. Um, I don't know. I really like her orange hair. I really like the shoes. I like that she has a stand. I'm just not sure about this outfit. Tell me down in the comments, what do you guys think about these um, LOL Surprise JK dolls? Do you guys have them? Do you have a favorite? Um, we will be checking out the others in the future, but right now I'm still a little torn. Don't know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and do me happy. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.